you ever thought about the hidden vulnerabilities lurking in the websites you visit every day? What if I told you that a seemingly harmless JavaScript library has compromised over 380,000 hosts, including major companies like Warner Bros, Hulu, and Mercedes-Benz? This isn't a hypothetical scenario. It is happening right now. Stay tuned to uncover the full story behind this massive supply chain attack. Let's get started. Let's start by breaking down what happened. In late June 2024, cybersecurity experts uncovered a supply chain attack targeting a widely used JavaScript library called polyfill.io. For those unfamiliar with the term, a polyfill is a bit of code that provides modern functionality on older browsers that don't natively support it. It's like a universal translator for web browsers, ensuring the websites work smoothly across different platforms and versions. Polyfill.io has been a trusted tool in the web development community for years. Countless developers integrated it into their projects, believing it to be a reliable solution for browser compatibility issues. In February 2024, the Polyfill.io domain and its associated GitHub repository were sold to a Chinese company named Funnel. At first glance, this seemed like a routine business transaction. However, cybersecurity experts now believe this was the moment when the fox was let into the hen house. Fast forward to late June 2024, and the cybersecurity firm Sansa dropped a bombshell. They revealed that the code hosted on the Polyfill domain had been subtly but significantly altered. The changes were insidious. The modified code began redirecting users to adult-themed and gambling websites. Even more concerning was that the redirections were timed to occur only at certain hours of the day and only affected visitors who met specific criteria. This level of sophistication in the attack is truly alarming. The malicious actors behind this weren't just casting a wide net, but using precision targeting to evade detection. By activating their malicious code only under certain conditions, they managed to fly under the radar for an extended period. According to recent findings from Census, an attack surface management firm, over 380,000 hosts are currently embedding a polyfill script that links to the compromised domain. But it gets even more interesting when we look at where these affected hosts are located. Approximately 237,000 of them are situated within the Hetzner network, primarily in Germany. For those unfamiliar, Hetzner is a popular web hosting service used by many website developers. This concentration of affected hosts in one network underscores how a single point of compromise can have cascading effects across the internet. The scope of this attack becomes even more alarming when we look at some of the high-profile victims. Major companies and platforms that millions of people use every day have been caught in this net. Names like Warner Bros, Hulu, Mercedes-Benz, and Pearson have all been identified as having domains that reference the malicious endpoint. The next time you're streaming your favorite show on Hulu or browsing the latest Mercedes models, you could potentially be exposing yourself to this threat. But it's not just private companies that are affected. Even government websites haven't been spared. Census observed 182 affected hosts displaying a .gov domain. This means that potentially sensitive government information and services could be at risk. The presence of domains like www.feedthefuture.gov in the list of affected sites highlights how this attack cuts across all sectors of the internet. The attackers behind this were incredibly clever in their approach. They didn't just flip a switch and start redirecting all traffic to malicious sites. Instead, they employed sophisticated evasion techniques that made the malware extremely difficult to detect. For instance, the malicious code was designed to only activate on specific mobile devices and at certain times of the day. It would also delay its execution if it detected a web analytics service, presumably to avoid showing up any usage statistics. Perhaps most deviously, it wouldn't activate if it detected an admin user. This meant that even if website owners were actively looking for issues, they might not see anything wrong. As the cybersecurity community began to unravel this attack, they uncovered evidence suggesting that this might be part of a much larger, ongoing campaign. Remember Funnel, the Chinese company that bought the polyfill.io domain? Well, it turns out they might be connected to a whole network of potentially malicious domains. 
researchers have identified several other domains that appear to be linked to the same account that owned the compromised polyfill.io domain. These include bootcdn.net, bootcss.com, staticfile.net, and staticfile.org. What's particularly concerning is that at least one of these domains, bootcss.com, has been observed engaging in malicious activity similar to the polyfill.io attack, with evidence dating back to June 2023. This revelation suggests that what we see with polyfill.io might just be the tip of the iceberg. We could be looking at a coordinated, long-term campaign to infiltrate and compromise key components of the web's infrastructure. The potential implications of this are staggering. To give you an idea of the scale, Census detected over 1.6 million public-facing hosts that link to these suspicious domains. That's 1.6 million potential entry points for malicious actors to exploit. As news of the compromise spread, various organizations sprang into action. Domain registrar Namecheap took the decisive step of suspending the malicious polyfill.io domain, effectively cutting off the immediate threat. But like a game of digital whack-a-mole, the attackers quickly attempted to realize their service under a new domain, polyfill.com. Namecheap was quick to respond, taking down this new domain as well on June 28, 2024. Since the start of July, attackers have registered two other domains, polyfill.site and polyfillcash.com. As of our latest information, polyfillcash.com remains operational, showing how much skilled these actors are. Content delivery networks like Cloudflare have also stepped up to the plate. They have implemented measures to automatically replace polyfill links with domains leading to alternative safe mirror sites. This proactive approach helps protect users, even if they're visiting a website that hasn't yet updated its code to remove the compromised polyfill links. Google, being the internet giant that it is, has taken a different but equally important approach. They've begun blocking ads for sites embedding the compromised domain. This move not only protects users from potentially malicious content, but also puts financial pressure on website owners to address the issue promptly. Google has taken a strong stance in response to this threat. In a statement shared with the Hacker News, the tech giant emphasized, protecting our users is our top priority. We detected a security issue recently that may affect websites using certain third-party libraries. They have been proactively sharing information with potentially impacted advertisers on how to quickly mitigate the issue. But here's where things get really interesting and concerning. As cybersecurity researchers dug deeper into this attack, they uncovered evidence suggesting that this might be just one part of a much larger, more insidious campaign. The polyfill.io incident isn't an isolated event. It's part of a growing trend of supply chain attacks targeting the open source community. This revelation adds a whole new layer of complexity and concern to our digital ecosystem. Let's put this in perspective. Just recently in June, the cybersecurity community was rocked by two other significant events. First, there was a credible takeover attempt targeting the OpenGS Foundation. The OpenGS Foundation is a cornerstone of the JavaScript community supporting critical projects that millions of developers rely on daily. In another shocking discovery, Malicious code was found embedded in the XZUtils library. For those unfamiliar with it, XZUtils is a compression utility used in many Linux distributions and open source projects. What makes this attack particularly concerning is the level of sophistication involved. As Kaspersky researchers Anderson Light and Sergey Belov pointed out, it is notable that the group or attacker behind the XZ backdoor has extensive knowledge of the internals of open source projects such as SSH and LibC, as well as expertise in code obfuscation used to start the infection. These incidents, along with the polyfill.io attack, paint a disturbing picture of the current state of cybersecurity. They highlight how malicious actors are increasingly targeting the very foundations of our digital infrastructure. By compromising widely used products and services, they can inflict damage on all downstream customers at once. It's a strategy that maximizes impact while minimizing effort. Pedro Fortuna, CTO and co-founder of the Scrambler, summed up the situation perfectly in a statement to the Hacker News. He said, 
As businesses increasingly rely on the client-side JavaScript development, JavaScript's weaknesses and client-side blind spots will continue to be exploited. For businesses, the implications are even more severe. Fortuna argues that while asking businesses to shift away from JavaScript and third-party add-ons is not an option, companies need to start investing in more advanced and automated solutions capable of monitoring and managing script behavior and integrity in real time. This means a fundamental shift in how we approach cybersecurity. It's no longer enough to secure your own code and systems. Businesses need to be vigilant about every piece of third-party code they incorporate into their projects. They need robust monitoring systems that can detect unusual behavior in real time, and they need incident response plans that can be activated at a moment's notice. The Polyfill.io incident, along with these other recent attacks, serve as a wake-up call. Our digital world is more interconnected and interdependent than ever before. A vulnerability in one small library can have far-reaching consequences, affecting millions of users and thousands of businesses. What do you think about the implications of this supply chain attack? Have you checked your own websites for references to the compromised polyfill.io domain? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.